Prism Sound is my interface. Uh, that's the A to D and D to A converter and uh, word clock. So these are incredible. Uh, my coworker Eric turned me on to these, and they're like mastering grade yeah. uh, converters. Amazing for tracking and mixing. It has a really full sound and and, and wide stereo field. Mm -hmm. I've compared that to a lot of the Lavery converters and some other, you know, really high-end stuff. And it wasn't subtle. It was like, you know, even between other converters that are no slouches, where they mm -hmm. were all really strong, that one stood out uh, undeniably to me. Wow, that's awesome. Fuller bottom, wider picture. I wasn't even in the market for it, but then I heard it and I was like, there's, n I can't not. Yeah, that's tough yeah. when you, that's, you gotta be careful when you walk into situations where you start checking out stuff that you're not in the market for, because you might just fall into that market. <laughs> <laughs> that happened with the Manly. The Very Mew, yeah, yep. dude. Yeah, that, so that's the Manly Very Mew stereo compressor limiter. Yep, and so this lives with the uh, TK bus compressor as well in my mix chain for my analog summing. You know, I don't have a ton of outboard gear, but everything is very carefully chosen and designed for, for its use. When I mix songs for records, uh, I send stem pairs out to the Rupert Neve summing. That hits the TK Audio bus compressor and the Manly Very Mew. So at any point, I can bypass uh, either one in A, B, do I want to go solid state, you know, uh, SSL type of bus compression, or do I want something to be? And so I can ABM really quickly. And then sometimes it's both uh, set very differently. You can get, you know, a little bit of that peak punch from the SSL mm -hmm. and then do some leveling and warmth from the very mu. So you got the pre's. What's the black line audio thing? Is that a compressor? Yeah. So that's, that's two compressors in one. So like the 1176 LA2 thing? Exactly. So 1176 on the left, LA2A optical tube on the right. This. I specifically got for tracking, so channel one of the Heritage Neve hits this in, in series. So I like to go 76, uh, 1176 circuit first, you know, fast attack and release, just grabbing the little peaks, and then that goes into the LA two-way for leveling and a little bit of warmth and tone. And uh, so I track through that and- Nice. I like to get sounds, you know, as close as I can as it goes to the recording. That's been giving me a really, really great vocal sound that I've been searching for for a long time.